Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I just ended the other vlog a few hours ago because my SD card, <laughs> I broke it. Well, here's the thing. I had said it in the last vlog, so sorry if I'm repeating myself. I tried to put it in my camera and like the edge of it just broke off. So I just ran to Best Buy, got a new SD card. I also ran and did a Target pickup because I got a new waxing kit. This one has a wax jar, the strips, um, you know which one I really liked? If you guys remember it from like years ago, the Bliss one. They don't sell it at Target anymore, but um, I need to do a little waxing. I wanted to like clean up my eyebrows, get a little bit of the peach fuzz on my chin. And you guys, if you watched the last vlog <laughs> and you follow me on Instagram, you saw my obsession right now with these tops from Target. They're so so good um so i bought more <laughs> because finding a good everyday t-shirt is not always easy and like i've said before you know especially with like the lighter colored ones if there's like a stain on it that you can't get out and like sometimes my laundry like it, i get detergent stains on things sometimes it's really weird i don't know if that happens to you guys or if you guys have a fix like sometimes our light clothes will come out with like marks on them and i'm like how does that happen so um, these are $8 and they remind me so much of one that I have from Skims. Um, I'll link them again, but I get an extra large. I got this gray one. I have a white one. I got this brown color, this black color, and then this really pretty navy blue. It was called navy blue, but it's more of like a dusty blue. It's really pretty. So, oh, I love these. And once they're gone, they're gone. So eight dollars they'll be linked and then yesterday i also cleaned out my car i did like the little goo ball thing that gets the crumbs out i vacuumed i wiped everything down so i got these to keep in my car just to try to keep up with it more glass wipes and cleaning wipes so i think i can just keep these right in my glove box and then keep up with it a little bit more oh and also i just filmed a tiktok for these lashes so if you know i can't have lash extensions because i was allergic twice <laughs> doesn't matter what they use they just don't work for me but i love the look of lash extensions because they're super curled these amazon lashes are so beautiful they look like lash extensions they're super curled wispy and long and 10 pairs on amazon for under ten dollars we don't need to spend a ton on lashes every time <laughs> oh my god they're gorgeous so those will be linked as well I'm trying to find the good natural light i don't know why it's like weird lighting right now but um, i'm gonna do some cleaning and just like kind of some house stuff so i'll check in later okay good morning it's the next day and i am out here looking totally the same the next day in another one of those target t-shirts this is the brown one it's so cute time for a calcium chew bariatric life but we're gonna have some fun i even brought down my my mirror from upstairs because i need to microwave this um we're gonna do some waxing we're gonna have a fun day today my mom and i want to do like a fall trader joe's video um it'll just be in this vlog i'm not gonna do it separate but the last time we go grocery shopping a lot together at trader joe's um and the last time we went there was so much fall stuff like we just want to try all of it for a vlog and i'm always seeing it on tiktok and stuff oh side note i got this iced chai latte with oat milk and pumpkin and it is so good because you guys know i love my iced chai with pumpkin cold foam from starbucks it's just so expensive like just crazy expensive so i drove by a duncan this morning i had to get an oil change and i was like pumpkin i'm gonna try something so i just got a small and it's really really good like it tastes just as good as the Starbucks one and was so much cheaper. All right, so this kit comes with a bunch of, are, they, are these strips? These feel different. I haven't gotten my brows waxed though in like forever. I've just kind of been plucking them or maneuvering it. And then we've got the wax, the little spatulas, and then some finishing oil. So we just microwave this for 30 seconds, let it cool before we take it out and uh, we go and wax. So this is for all over the body. Um, you can do it like everywhere. Grabs your hair, not your skin. And results can last up to eight weeks. So do I, there's like a little tab. Do I take this off before? I don't know if I, oh, do I have the power to get it off? I don't know if I should take this off first. 
doesn't say anything about and I can't get it off because <laughs> it's like stuck to wax. Should I just leave it on? Should I just leave this part on? All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Don't try to take the cover off. <laughs> because it's like attached to hard wax. So yeah, now that it's melted, I can actually peel it off. It's like tried to get it off with tweezers and it was like, it was a hot ass mess. So I have some scissors because I don't need the strips to be this big. So I'm just gonna cut up a few. So I think I'm gonna do my chin first. So fun. <laughs> so fun right i'm about to pull the hair from my face okay it's a good temp I'm gonna do one side at a time oh there's strings okay ready oh, that wasn't bad did it work i guess i could see peach fuzz okay cool it's nice and warm <laughs> feels kind of nice ready oh that one hurt more oh there's a piece <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well get that stash, which always hurts way more. Oh, oh, frig. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alex, does this make you remember why you don't like waxing? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, to my lip. <laughs> I just hate how stringy wax is. That's the only thing I'm like. How do we make it less stringy? Oh, Lord. I am not looking forward to this, but one day I'm gonna give birth and that, that's gonna be a lot worse. I tell that to myself all the time. I'm just like, whenever I have a painful thing, I'm like, one day you're gonna give birth, <laughs> God willing. So, all right. Oh God, that, oh. <laughs> but hey, we got, we got a lot off there. We did, we, we did. All right, now time to clean up the brows which I just do like a little bit on the bottom. Not much going on up here, but we're here and the wax is warm. Just give that a little bit down here. Oh, that one definitely hurt the least, but we got, we got some out there. Overall, it's a good kit. I got it at Target, I'll link it. The only thing is, since it's made for like full body, you might wanna get your own little <laughs> spatula just because it is a little bit big for your face, but this is all they had and I didn't want to have to order it on Amazon. We'll get those little hairs in the middle. Okay. This one always hurts the least, thankfully. <laughs> yes, it's so satisfying to look at the hair after. <laughs> it's so satisfying. All right, well that went pretty well. I'm gonna put on some of this finishing oil with just probably like a paper towel or something. Calm it all down. And my mom will be here in like an hour and then we'll have a fun day with her. Okay, I just threw on a simple little glam. My hair's up in a clip per usual. I got this new Halloween sweatshirt from um, my friend's clothing line. Check it out. She has so many cute designs right now. Howdy pumpkin. Oh, it is so cute. And I have one for my mom too. It says nightmare before coffee. Bruno, do you want to see grandma? You want to see grandma? Oh, where's grandma? He's gonna go find grandma. Oh, I'm so excited to see grandma. All right, we're at Trader Joe's. There's so much and there's a lot of people in here. So I'll see you guys at home, but oh my God, so many good fall goodies here. All right, we're back from Trader Joe's. We got a bunch of stuff to try for you guys, but we're also going to make this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Super easy, oil, eggs, and water. So that'll be part of our taste test and it'll probably be ready by the time we finish making everything else. Oh, we also have these to put in the oven as well. <laughs> Spicy pumpkin samosas. Guys, we have so much fun Those stuff Those are to my try. choice. Oh, yes. exciting. to try for you yes we do have the pumpkin samosas in the oven mm -hmm. and the bread the bread won't be done for like almost an hour but the samosas will be done in like 10 so we're gonna start and we're gonna just try a little of everything and we're gonna rate it one to ten one, one to, to five ten. no one, one to ten okay 
Can we try this first? What is it? Pumpkin oh, hummus. pumpkin spice hummus. <laughs> pumpkin spice hummus. Now, a lot of people are purists. Okay, and they don't believe hummus should be anything but just chickpeas, tahini oil, salt. Keep a good thing a good thing. Y yeah, don't That's, be messing with it. No. So here is how it looks. It looks like the dough of the pumpkin what bread. What does it smell like? Yeah, it does. I smell pumpkin. Pumpkin I smell puree. Pumpkin. Like, like I was afraid you were gonna mash that into my face. Can you imagine? That's not really your style. Though. Absolutely not. I got these multi-grain pita crackers we could try them with. So at least the ingredients, the first uh, ingredient is garbanzo beans, which is a chickpea, so amen to that. Oh wait, and then the second ingredient is sugar. So is it gonna be it's sweet? It's gonna be sweet. Have you ever had a dessert hummus? I've never. I've had a dessert hummus before. I've, I've had never. like a brownie dessert hummus. And it was actually really good. You can kind of go in different directions with the chickpeas, so. That does, that looks just like your pumpkin spice bread. Mix. I know. Yeah. Okay, ready? Ready. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Hmm. Thoughts? I can't tell. It's like sweet and then salty. You know what it tastes exactly like? Hmm pumpkin pie filling. Does it? Like, you know when you eat a pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving? If, if you dipped a cracker into a pumpkin pie, that's what you'd get. Right? Am Try I right? a little plain. I th See, the thing is, I don't like pie. <laughs> I don't really eat pie. I don't hate it. It's kind of nice. It tastes like pumpkin pie, for real. You wouldn't know it was hummus. You would never know. If you if like I pumpkin pie, you like this. Yeah, if you like pumpkin pie, you'll love that. For me, I'm rating it a six. Just because I don't really care for like pumpkin pie. If I like pumpkin pie, and if I say to myself, listen, Nancy, eat this, it's not traditional hummus. Get over that fact, just have it for what it is. I would, I would give it a nine. Yeah. I think Texas if you like the pumpkin pie, creamy, then... If you like pumpkin pie, you will love pumpkin hummus. Let's try this yogurt, I'm dying to see. All right, we got the organic creamy cashew yogurt alternative with pumpkin spice and some coconut cream. This is gonna taste like pumpkin pie too. <laughs> I bet every damn thing I eat is gonna taste like pumpkin pie. Texture, texture for ya. Is that loose? It's a little loose. Bitch. Did you want it to be thick? I like- It's a traditional yogurt. It's, it's not a, a traditional yogurt. yogurt, not a Greek yogurt. So it's like super runny like that. Ready, set. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. I don't like the aftertaste. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the before, during, or after <laughs> taste. Oh no! What can I say about it? What does it taste like? It tastes... Something weird about the flavor. Yeah. It tastes like, it's like medicine and you have to hold your nose and take it. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a great description. It's just got a weird flavor. So you know when yogurt has like that little bit of a sour flavor, like a sour cream? I don't mind that, I actually like it. I get that. I don't get a ton of pumpkin though. Is this even pumpkin flavored? Yeah, pumpkin spice. Oh, it says it on the front. <laughs> I thought you goofed for a minute. <laughs> Imagine it just wasn't pumpkin. Okay, so well, you know what? I don't get a lot of pumpkin flavor in this. No, it's just kind of a weird different flavor. Mm -hmm. But like going on a breakfast theme, let's go into the next breakfast item. You can't eat that now. Why? Because you have to let it sit overnight. Oh no, these are like already pre-overnighted. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> like that's the cool thing, they're already done. <laughs> Why, was Why that? is that funny? <laughs> that was cute, I don't know. Well, because it's called overnight oats and I thought I was, because I've read recipes before where you put it all in, yeah. you put the liquid in, it has to sit overnight, but yeah. this already sat overnight. Yeah, this has been sitting overnight. This has been sitting overnight. <laughs> People love. That tastes like alcohol. It does. Like right? Medicine Thank you. Al medicine -y alcohol. I feel like I just like did a shot of tequila or something. I wish we did a shot of tequila. Girl. <laughs> so people love Trader Joe's overnight oats. It's like a thing. It's so a thing. this is the pumpkin overnight oats. Rolled oats with pumpkin puree and spices. I bet it's gonna be yummy. I think so. I have a, good I have a real. Oh wait, what do we give this? A zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sad. I'll give it a one. Texture. I know people like to see a texture. Hmm. Pumpkin-y. Smells pumpkin-y and oaty. You know what's funny? Huh? Oh, and you have to lick off your yogurt. Mm. I could have got you a fresh 
It's funny because like realistically, I don't like love pumpkin flavored things that much. Like, really? I like like the artificial pumpkin flavor, not like pumpkin puree stuff. <laughs> I like like the fake stuff. Yeah, like when, <laughs> when you go to Dunkin's and get the pumpkin. Guys, I went to Dunkin's the other day to get a pumpkin spice coffee. They don't make it anymore. They only make it in a K-cup. If you want anything pumpkin spice, you get what's called pumpkin swirl, and it's a syrup. Not no. a pumpkin flavored coffee. So it's it's got sugar in it because it's a syrup. And I'm like, I don't like sugar in my coffee. I'm like, y'all don't have regular pump pumpkin spice? Yeah. Really? I don't know. They only sell it in K-cups. I don't know. So if anyone has a good idea of like... Where to get it. Where I can get one. I mean, I guess I can a try Starbucks. A pumpkin flavored coffee. Okay, let's see. Do we need to mix this up a little bit? I have a feeling... It's gonna be like organic-y. So it's got the consistent consistency of like maybe brownie dough. Yeah. Ready? Ready? I like that way more than the yogurt. Oh yeah, way more than the yogurt. I wish it was a sprinkle sweeter. I totally agree with you. Even like half a teaspoon of maple syrup maybe, just to sweeten it a smidge. Oh, a little maple syrup just a would smidge. be- smidge, like a half a teaspoon. It would give, yeah. like- That would be the vibe. I'm gonna give that a seven. Because I think if it had a little maple syrup or honey on it, it would be And it's perfect. got some really good spices in it. I can taste the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of the oats. Yeah. It has a lot of good spice. Very, very fall. Would you buy it again? No. Well, mm. maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Honestly, like, think about this. I like it. I like it. Pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. Look how cute they are. There's no way these won't be amazing. Mm, There's they're no gonna way. Be good. Yeah, they are. Yogurt flavored coating with crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. Ooh. Uh huh. So is it gonna be salty and sweet? It should. Yes. Oh my, they're little babies. Oh, they're just a little, little baby. Oh wait, and you know what they're like? What? Like you know, like yogurt covered pretzels. Yeah. 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 So that's the size they are. Oh, little babies. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Oh, they have a picture right in the back. Actual size. Yeah. Oh, my timer's going off for the samosas. Mm. Oh my God. Um, I give it a 10. What do you think? Two thumbs up. Honestly, the pumpkin Jojo's, I only wanted them because I love the box. The box that, like, is not so the cute. Box. Look how cute the box is. Oh my god. I'm a sucker for good packaging. Wanna just try one? And these little guys are adorable too. Look at these cute little bomb guys. I know. Oh, we're gonna try one now? Yeah, why not? Wanna just share one? Sure. Yeah, half is good. Pumpkin flavored. So it's like an Oreo, but it's pumpkin flavored. Pumpkin Oreo, pretty how much. How can you go wrong with that? You ready? Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what, with a cup of hot tea at night, that would be perfect. Those are freaking delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a 10 out of 10. It's like just the perfect amount of pumpkin flavor. Not too overbearing. Not overbearing. I will say a but. Mm. I'm only giving them a nine, not a 10. Why? I don't think they taste pumpkin-y enough. Oh, see? It's just the right amount. <laughs> just the right amount for you? <laughs> yeah. Just, it's just a hint of it. Would I buy them again? Definitely. Yeah. Okay, what do you like more though? The pretzels or the cookies? I like the pretzels because they're salty and sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about same. same? Yeah. These are like pirouettes. These are so good. I love the like little wafer. Mm. I like the outer parts. This is so crispy and light. You can't go wrong with these wafer straw things. It's that like thin little wafery wafer. Crispy and light. Oh my God. These are like the Jojo's. There's just a little bit of pumpkin. Mm, you I like, like them? that a lot. Yeah, I'm, I like that a I'm lot. I'm giving those a 10. Those are a 10. Yeah. Those are amazing. I'll give it a nine. Why? Just like the Jojo's. Not, Not enough, enough spice for me. Okay. Chocolate mousse pumpkins. Now this is cuckoo. Should we try the samosas now? Should we? Yeah. You think we can without burning our tongue? I'm a baby. I'm just a baby. Ready? Okay, so let me show them the inside. There's the Little filling. Triangle, yep. I'm seeing like pumpkin chunks. Oh yes, and I'm seeing the fibrous pieces of, see the fibrous pieces of the pumpkin? So it's not puree, it's like legit pumpkin. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna like let mine breathe for a second. It's so hot. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm, good. Oh my God. Wait, am I getting spicy? Yeah, a little oh. bit. They have a little bit of spice. They have a little bit of spice. These are savory. It's the same way you get like a pumpkin soup or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But in a samosa. Completely. <gasps> I love those. They, yeah. God, they have spice. They have spice. They're so good. I'm giving that a nine. Like, I'm giving it a nine also. Yeah. I like, like it a lot. Well, I might have to give it an eight because my mouth is starting to burn again. But no, you know what? I'll give it a nine because the flavor's amazing. The flavor's If you good. can handle the spice, I'm a puss. Yeah, I feel like even with me liking spice, I don't really know why I shouldn't just give it a 10. Yeah. Because like... What is it missing? Nothing. It's perfect. It's amazing. Or does it just feel weird to give something a 10? Because a 10 is A 10 like, is aggressive. Like, yeah. Like, but I just gave a 10 three times. <laughs> Yeah, my mouth is on fire. Is yours on fire? Um, it's spicy, but I'm not like in pain. I'm, I like spice though. These are so good. They are really good. What if we dip them in the hummus? Good idea or bad idea? You tell me. Good idea or bad idea? <laughs> it's actually good. Yeah? I love dipping anything. Give me dip all uh, day long. We're big dip I'm girls. a dipper. Trader Joe's has the best dips. Mm -hmm. The best dips. Mm -hmm. That was good. Okay, you guys have to try those. I would, yeah. I would oh, those. those are delicious. We have to try the chocolate mousse pumpkins. Velvety chocolate cakes. These are just cute. Oh, they're cakes? Yeah, velvety chocolate cakes with mousse. I love cake. <laughs> so I love cake. Cute. They're just so cute. I kind of hope they give like a little Debbie vibe. Oh yeah, look at this. You wanna just, just like... split one or do you wanna eat one? Oh no, I definitely wanna split one. Yeah, let's just each take one bite. <laughs> yeah, you bite in and toss her Here, over. I'll break her in half. Ooh, moussey. Oh, that looks good. So we've got a layer of mousse and a layer of cake and then <gasps> it's covered in like chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> it's giving high quality little Debbie. High quality zebra cake who? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh Pour yourself a glass of milk, open up this container, <laughs> eat all six of them because you know you will. <laughs> Yum. Okay, that's a, that's a 10 for me. Okay, so. What? This is my thought. What's your thought? They call these chocolate mousse pumpkins. But there's no pumpkin. But there's no pumpkin, like the word, they're just giving you the shape of a pumpkin. Yeah. Girl, I'm down for that. This was delicious. I'm fine with it. So, serve oh me anything in a pumpkin God. shape. I don't even need the flavor. That was amazing. Okay, this was solid. Like, okay. these were pretty solid. Pumpkin spice batons, would you buy again? 100%. Okay. You too? Definitely. Chocolate mousse pumpkins, would you buy them again? For sure. Yeah, why am I wasting my breath asking you? JoJo's? JoJo's, would you buy them again? I would. Yes, me too. Would buy these again. Oh, deaf. Would you buy the pumpkin spice hummus again? I'm a purist. Can't do it. Okay. Can't do it. I, I wouldn't either. Like, not because I didn't like it, but because I like regular hummus better. I just love regular hummus. This is just, I, I just wouldn't enjoy eating this like a normal hummus. And that reminds me of pumpkin pie, and you know what? It's not hummus. If I want to eat a pumpkin pie, I'll eat a damn pumpkin right. pie. I would pay to not eat this again. <laughs> You know, the overnight oats, the thing with the overnight oats is it's good, but it's missing something. It's just missing something, like it needs more sugar and it's spice. It's just, if you if you buy these, if you don't like things super sweet, I don't even feel like they're that like super sweet if you add maple syrup, but try it. If it needs something, put it with maple syrup. That's gonna be perfect, just a yeah, little drizzle. Yeah, for me it just needs a smidge, just a smidge of something. Just a schmidge. Cause actually it's super tasty and they got just the right amount of spice in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, this is delish. We do still have that bread mix that's in the oven. We're gonna like go watch some Love Island <laughs> and we'll check back in in like probably a few hours. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Many hours later. Mom is trying the bread. Oh my gosh, it's still warm. It's super moist. It feels like just the softest, warmest thing. 10 out of 10 or nine? 10. Really, wow. That's a 10. All right. Want a little taste? Y'all yeah, have like a tiny piece. Thank you. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bomb. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I am about to dive into editing this footage um, from yesterday, trying all those Trader Joe's goodies. That was a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know that was like the majority of this vlog. Oh my God, I just got back from the gym and my arms are like, they're like jello. 
but it feels good. So um, I'm gonna end this vlog here, do some editing, and then start another vlog <laughs> because I don't know, I just love vlogging. I love it and I hope you guys are loving it. Uh, let me know what other fall videos you guys are requesting. I'm gonna do like another fall vlog, like pumpkin carving and stuff. But if you have any specific fall video requests, let me know now because time's a ticking. But I love you so much and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.